<laughs> you uh, just met Siren, and you want her to sleep in your room? <laughs> so what if we just met? Siren has to sleep somewhere. Why not in my bed? Talk about being mesmerized. Siren already has Miguel hot to get horizontal. I'd love to sleep in your bed, Miguel. I bet you would, slut. Okay, Andorra, she may be engaged to Fox, but she's outraged that she has competition for Miguel's affections. Where did he go? Oh, I hate that I had to leave Fancy to come meet Lena. I know you hate being under her thumb. I do too. But we have no choice. I mean, the FBI wants to arrest us as terrorists if we don't get proof that Lena's involved in terrorism. Noah, Maya. Lena, late as usual. I reconfirmed the mission I'm sending you both on to find out who killed my partner and get back what was stolen from the trunk. How about I put an end to all this nonsense and send you straight to the morgue instead? Wow. Oh, wow. Loma, what a great room. Oh, I still can't believe we're in Rome. The last thing I remember was hanging out from Harmony and... Now I'm here. Well, you slept the whole flight. <laughs> know what I like best about Rome so far? No spike. <laughs> yeah. We're glad you left him. This time for good. Yeah, you got that right. I'm never going back to that sleaze. Well, this trip can be a new start for you, Jess. Yeah, totally. So while I start over, what are you guys doing here in Rome? Whitney! Whitney! Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Did you hear a woman scream? Me dispiace, but I don't parlo in English. Thank you, thank you. I have to find Whitney. Whitney! Find that monk inside. What the? Breathe in, breathe out. You keep me alive. You are my passion for life. Did I miss something? Why do you guys all look like you stuck your finger in a light socket? Oh, wait. You all thought I wanted Siren sleeping in my bed with me? Oh, well, you're a guy. She's a girl. One out of two. You know, I thought Siren could sleep in my bed while I slept in the attic. Oh. 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 Siren, I can't imagine what you must think of me. Uh, I think you're cute and sweet and really, really sexy. <laughs> Thank you, but... I didn't want you to think I expected to hop into bed with you so soon after we met. 
Miguel obviously has mingled with too many mermaids. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> no wonder you guys all look shocked. You guys actually thought I was asking Tabitha if I could sleep with Siren under her roof when I'm just a guest? Mm, that's what it sounded like. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't offend you, Tabitha. Oh, no, no, dear, not at all. No, in my day, I shared my charms with more than one man after knowing him just a short time. <laughs> Almost an entire Roman legion, to be exact. So can Siren stay in my room while I sleep in the attic? Hey, the more the merrier, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty crowded here already. Do we really have room for anyone else? <laughs> okay's right. I shouldn't be asking for Siren to stay here. I'll just call Mama. I'm sure there's room at our house. Siren can move into Teresa's old room, and I can move back into mine. I dare not let that mermaid out of my sight. No, I want Miguel and Siren here where I can keep an eye on them. No! No! Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's unanimous. Yes, Siren can, can stay here. Thank you, Tabitha. <laughs> now we just need to get Siren some clothes. Uh, yes, Kay, why don't you uh, find Siren some things to wear and, uh, and, and Fox, you go upstairs and check on Maria, will you? And Miguel, get what you need to take to the attic. Come on. <sighs> Thanks again for making me human. I love living above water. Terra firma is no place for a mermaid. You belong at the bottom of the ocean, and I am the witch to send you there. Still no sign of Noah. Being gone has anything to do with Maya. Noah, stop. Killing her is not gonna help us. Well, if she won't be able to hold our past over us anymore, we'll kill her, walk away, get on with the rest of our lives. Hurt Lena, and you will go to prison, Noah. You'll never see your loved ones again. Damn you. Back at you, sweetheart. If you really love Fancy, you'll do what Lena says. It's easy for you to say. All right. You're not there when she wakes up. She's going to wake up. She's going to realize that I'm gone, and she's going to think that I used her again. Well, Fancy being curious is better than Fancy being dead. I'm tired of you, Noah. You should have killed me when you had the chance, because now I'm going to kill you. Dressed alike. Give my regards to Neptune, and back to the sea you go. Endora, will you stop blocking my spell? Save Miguel's life is one thing, but using her to keep Kay with Fox is another. The board already thinks he loves her when he really loves Kay. So, we can't trust her. Mermaids are notoriously fickle. She might suddenly decide she's in love with Fox. And then she'll leave Miguel alone and needy, so needy that he might just rush off and try and find charity. And if he finds her and does push-push with her, then it'll be all over for us. So listen, as your mother, I insist that you get rid of this overgrown guppy now. <laughs> yeah. And I thought Timmy was obstinate. Thanks, Endora. I don't want to go back to living in the ocean. I want to live here I with Miguel. Leave. I can't leave again. Your continued existence here goes against my master plan. Sorry. Endora conjured me, so you're stuck with me. 
I'm warning you, Siren. This isn't over yet. Oh, we'll eat a crab cake. I love Miguel, and soon he will love me. Well, I uh, picked out some clothes for Siren to wear. Marie's asleep. I got my bed in the attic ready. I think I'm ready for a bath and to go to bed. Come on, I'll show you the room. Good night, everyone. Thank you for making me feel right at home. Miguel said he loves me, and now he's smitten with Siren. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, I'm a policeman from the United States, and I uh, was pursuing someone, uh, a monk. He came in here, but, uh, well, <laughs> you're all dressed alike. I, I, I need to talk to this person. Can you help me find him? From uh, the, the States? Yeah, yeah, it's a small town. It's called Harmony. It's on the ah, eastern seaboard of... Uh, Bravo, Harmony. I know Harmony. Hometown uh, uh, of Alistair Crane. Yeah, so... Uh, what's your connection to Alistair? Oh, I know him. What? Uh, I know Alistair Crane personally. Why are you here in Rome? We're doing research for an art history project. Oh, well, makes sense. Rome has a lot of art and a lot of history. Even so, there's so much we still don't know. But hopefully, we'll learn a lot while we're here. And find Whitney. Um, tell me how she wound up here in Rome again. Well, nobody's sure. All we do know is that Whitney disappeared from the convent back home. What? Don't bother asking. That's all we know. Anyway, Julian had Crane's security trace Whitney here to Rome. Chad flew over on an earlier flight to look for her. Mm-hmm. We have to find Whitney and bring her home in one piece. I'm happy to help you look. I got pretty streetwise because of Spike. What are we waiting for? Let's go look for Whitney. Yeah, I'm too excited to be in Rome to sleep anyway. And I slept the whole way here. <sighs> Let me brush my teeth and we'll go. OK. OK. While we're out looking for Whitney, we have to keep an eye out on this symbol and its connection to the paintings that were stolen from the churches here in Europe during World War II. Good idea. Don't you think that Alistair should know where they are? I mean, he has tons of pictures of the paintings with the symbol on them. Simone? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just preoccupied. I can't stop thinking about Whitney. She was so frail last time at the convent. I just hope wherever she is, she's OK. Sounds like her scream came from this door. Open up! Hold on, Whitney, I'm coming. Okay, hey, you sure you want to give Siren those clothes? Mm-hmm. They're perfect for her. Thanks, but I like these better. Oh, yeah, that's actually I, mine. Okay, what's the big deal? You've got a closet full of clothes. Yeah, Kay, okay, this bikini is the only thing Siren has. I mean, her boyfriend drove off with the rest of her stuff. I just thought Siren might like the flannel look, but if uh, she wants something else, it's fine with me. 
Thanks, Kay. <laughs> new clothes for my new life on land. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, my bathing suit is for when I'm in the water, and this is what I'll wear when I'm on dry land. <laughs> it's cool how you see things, Siren. <laughs> totally. I got some fresh sheets. I'll help you put them on. Okay. It won't stay. I was probably pulling on my side. I'm sorry. Try it again. It'll stay this time. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good one, Siren. You make it seem like you've never made a bed before. Sure I have. I was just kidding. Siren's behaving like a betting quality inspector gone mad. If she's not careful, she'll expose herself as a mermaid who sleeps on a coral reef, not on cotton sheets. How can you not know how to put sheets on a bed? desk? Hi, this is Fancy Crane. I was just wondering if a friend of mine, Noah Bennett, is down there or if he left a message for me. Uh-huh. He was there but went out. Grazie. <laughs> Noah probably went out to buy me flowers. Now I could go out to get a gift for him, too. What a wonderful night this has turned out to be. You don't scare me, Lena. You need Maya and me to carry out your little mission. So put the gun away. Either you're very brave, or you have a death wish. Oh, it's death wish, but it's not for me. Don't antagonize her, Noah. The sooner we do what she wants, the better. Thank you very much. Now, what is it that you want us to do? We would like to do it and then get on with the rest of our lives. We all want certain things, Noah, but that's no guarantee we'll get them. Meaning? Don't assume that after this mission, you'll still have a life. This may well be the last thing you ever do. You know Alistair Crane personally? Oh, our order is supported by a charity funded by Alistair Crane. This church was renovated and money that he donated. He's a good man, a <laughs> saint. Then we must be talking about a different Alistair Crane because the Alistair Crane that I know is He's not good, and he is certainly not a saint. Oh. In fact, he's about as evil as the devil himself. Masquerade? Symbol. It's the same symbol that was on the door when I busted through and fell down here. Maybe Whitney opened the door and fell down here too. Whitney! Can you hear me? It's me, Chad. Whitney, are you in here? 
Whitney! Whitney! Can anyone not know how to make up a bed? I grew up sleeping on water. Uh, so? Even water beds have sheets. Jeepers creepers. Siren's digging herself into a hole deeper than the Mariana's Trench. And since you insist on keeping her here, we're gonna have to help dig her out. Because if she's exposed as a mermaid, our witchery will be exposed as well. Come on, little miss. Well, well. How's everyone doing? What's going on in here, huh? Oh, oh I see. Oh, Siren's teasing you all, pretending to be the stereotypical dumb blonde like that Jessica Simpson girl. <laughs> Trace and Muzo, ma cherie. Who? See? <laughs> no, I really think that Siren doesn't know how to make up a bed. Maybe she's from a wealthy family. I mean, I didn't make a bed till I went to boarding school. I pay my roommate to teach me. That's it. I never made up my own bed because my family's wealthy. You said you're from Portsmouth? Yes. Okay, well, what's your family's name? I'm sure Fox has heard of them if they're rich. Yeah, Siren, who are your people? They fish for a living. Uh, Gordon? Vandekamp. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. <laughs> huh? huh? Ah, well, we're all tired and it's past Indora's bedtime. We can talk about all this tomorrow. Ah, I'm down for that. Me too. Come on. Oh. I saved your scaly tail this time, but next time be more careful. No one must know that you are a mermaid. Understood? No problem. Rome is incredible. Wow. Oh, I'm glad you guys brought me along. Getting away from Harmony makes me realize how insignificant Spike really is and those stupid smiley face stickers of his. I don't need them to get high. Seeing the world, living life, now this is a real high. We're happy for you, Jeff. Yeah, just please promise yourself that you'll never let Spike get to you again. I won't. Hey, can we just focus on Funny Whitney? Okay, where could Whitney be? A church, a convent? A hospital, helping the sick. Yeah. You know, let's start with the churches, because I see one over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a hard time believing that Alistair would fund any sort of religious order unless he was getting something out of it. He is, you know, he does it out of pure goodness. He helps us so that we can help others. Oh, okay, good. Then maybe you can help me. Look, like I said, I was chasing a monk and he ran in here. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get a good look at his face. There was, uh, there was just something familiar about him. And plus, when I asked to talk to him, he ran away. What? You scared him. Maybe, I don't know. The point is, he must be a member of your order, and that's why he ducked in here. Filio mio, are you sure of this? <laughs> yeah. So you don't remember a monk running in here right before I did? No, it, but please, when we are praying, chanting, we, we are ob oblivious to our surrounding. We, um, if you had not touched me, I would not know you came in. All right, well then uh, maybe you can ask someone. Maybe someone else saw him. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> OK. Uh, <clears throat> Well, then maybe when he was running in here, he bumped into someone, maybe even stepped on someone's foot, and they looked up, and then they saw him. Please, I assure you, no monk here today saw anything. Well, I'm having a hard time believing that. Well, you will believe it. What's going on? This 
is why no monk in our order saw anyone enter this church. So, Lena, Maya and I, we're on pins and needles waiting to find out what our mission is. Your attempt at sarcasm is duly noted. Now, listen carefully. Follow my instructions to the letter, or you'll both be dead. Maybe I should have let Noah tell me what he wanted to say about Maya. Maybe then I'd understand what's going on. Noah was his old self earlier tonight. Fun, sexy, so tender and loving. And then I woke up and he was gone. Noah didn't leave to get me a romantic little something. He came straight here. At least that's what the doorman at the hotel said. Why would Noah come back here? Look, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Uh, I had no idea that every monk in your order was blind. No need to apologize, eh? We are all living God's will. Were all the monks born blind? They were born sightless, yes. Oh. So our parish priest back home in Harmony, Father Lonigan, he's blind as well. He wasn't born that way. That uh, was courtesy of Alistair Crane, though. Are you sure? Oh, I'm positive. In fact, Alistair prides himself on it. We must be talking about uh, uh, two different Alistair Cranes. I can't believe that the, the saintly man that I know would live to hurt others. Well, to the Alistair I know, it's just, uh, just a sport. We will pray for him. We, our, our Alistair has done more for this order than anyone thought possible. dead people in Rome. Bathtub's ready. There's extra toothbrushes in the medicine cabinet, and the soap and shampoo are by the tub. These are your towels. <sighs> Thanks, Miguel, for taking such good care of me. I'm happy to, even if you hadn't saved my life. But I'm glad you did. Good night, Siren. I'll be up in the attic if you need anything. Miguel? Yeah.
Letting her tail make a comeback. What if someone sees her own natural? <coughs> Endora, why did you change the channel? Oh. oh, no, Miguel's headed back to the bathroom. Oh, the bod is going to discover that Siren's a mermaid. See daytime. I don't want to see how someone can get to be our age, and they still don't know how to make up their bed. <laughs> Tabitha already clued us in that Siren was pulling her leg. Remember? I mean, everybody knows how to pull sheets on a bed, even rich girls from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Yeah, only she didn't do it. You went back in there and helped Miguel do it for her. Well, we were trying to make her feel welcome. If she feels any more at home, she'd be running around here in her birthday suit. <laughs> Care you? You jealous of Siren? Jealous? No, it's just what I've been saying all along. There's something not right about her. Yeah, admit she's a she's a little different. So what? <laughs> Miguel doesn't seem to mind. You know what? That's another thing. How did they get so close so fast? I mean, Siren is acting like she's fallen madly in love with him, and he's certainly not discouraging her. Why should he? Because he's. Because Miguel just got out of this thing with ch charity and, and, and he needs to take it slow. Well, I'm happy for Miguel. I'm happy that he found someone and Siren, she seems really nice. Be happy for him, Kay. <laughs> Who knows, she might be the one. Or she could be trouble. I need to find out which. If Miguel finds out that Siren is a mermaid, she won't swim off into the night. Oh, no. No, she will tell him that you turned her from a mermaid into a human, and then what? Blah, blah, blah to you. We'll be exposed as witches and disposed of post-haste. Who is it? Siren, it's me, Miguel. I have to see you. I need you to let me in. Oh, no. I can't let Miguel see me like this. You can't be serious. What you want us to do is so risky. That's the mission. Do it or die try. for nothing, huh? What she wants us to do is impossible. But we don't have a choice. I know one thing. I'm not gonna go on a suicide mission for Lena without seeing Fancy first. No, well, you can't. Lena thinks you're over Fancy. Even casual contact with her could get Fancy killed. Oh, uh, did you guys hear anything just now? Just the sounds of Rome at night. Yeah, even the city noises seem to have an Italian accent. N no, 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 not that. I swear I heard something, like we're being followed. Maybe it's the sound of our footsteps echoing off the stone buildings? See? Come on, Jess, mm -hmm. let's keep looking for Whitney. Okay. It's just that I'm used having Spike watch me walk the street. I guess I'm just paranoid. You get over that with time. Yeah, as the most right. Soon Spike will be just a bad memory. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. I'm Detective Lopez Fitzgerald. Now, if you find that there is anything wrong with your order, please contact me through Harmony PD. Now, this man may be posing as a monk, Using your order for whatever it is that he is doing, okay? I pray that it is not so, but I, I will be vigilant. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks to you, detective.
don't get what's going on here. Why would Whitney's necklace be dangling from a, an old knife stuck in a skeleton? Skeleton. God. Probably because the skeleton was old, the blood would be old and dry, but it's not. It's, it's fresh. God, it could be Whitney's. She could have screamed when she got stabbed. Whitney! Where are you, Whitney? I'm telling you, man, there is a door in this wall. It was in the catacombs right behind this wall. What's this? You bastard! Oh. 